Everybody who knows me personally is looking at this video right now and they are thinking, Hayley, really? <laughs> to this channel. Today for Solved Saturdays. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get through this video without laughing. Today for Solved Saturdays, I saw an opportunity and I've seized it. I'm gonna be doing a very special video where we talk about a very special dog. And he is no normal dog. He is George the Jack Russell, the goodest of all good boys. <laughs> So, thank you for being here, as of course you know, it is extremely appreciated. And please see my last video on Solved Saturdays, that was on the Manrique family murder. That's currently up on my channel at the moment. Again, I have a whole playlist that you can go and check out if you want to, so make sure that you have a look at that if you're interested. And let's get on to the video about a very, very special good boy. So, George the Jack Russell was a Jack Russell Terrier, and he was born in either 1997 or 1998, and presumably he was born in Taranaki, New Zealand, and I'm sure he was born in a litter with lots of other brothers and sisters. So George was primarily the pet dog of owner Alan Gay, but previously George had lived with Mr. Gay's neighbours, and when they moved away they decided that they were going to actually give George to Mr. Gay because George loved spending so much time with Mr. Gay. He loved playing in his yard and so they just came to the agreement that he could have him. Measuring at a whopping 30 centimeters long and standing no more than a terrifying foot in height, George was a Jack Russell Terrier. And Jack Russell Terriers were originally bred for hunting, specifically hunting foxes. They have a double coat that's very flat and it's very fine and in some cases the fur can be a bit bristly and this is just to protect them from the elements. Jack Russell Terriers can come in black and white, especially in little patches all over their bodies and in some instances they can even come in like a tan color or they can have all three different colors and have cute little patches all over their body. So Jack Russells are known to be very strong and energetic dogs and they especially have a very strong desire to work. They thrive in a companionship and love being given a task to do. Hunting is in their nature as it's something that they've been especially bred to do. They are very loyal but they are also very strong-willed and the saying goes that you will never win against a Jack Russell Terrier meaning like if they want to do it, they are gonna do it. These types of little dogs typically won't veg out all day on the couch. They are lap dogs sometimes, but they love being out in the yard, searching the perimeter for unwanted rodents, and getting stuck into a hard day's work especially. So this story all begins on the 25th of April 2007. The New Zealand Herald reported that five children in Mania, Taranaki, New Zealand, were walking home from school one afternoon. And it was on this afternoon that the five children were horrified to spot two pit bulls in the distance running up the street coming towards them and these two dogs were showing very obvious signs of aggression and this really scared the children as they could see them approaching. Terrified, the children obviously wanted to avoid being bitten so they started to yell for help, they started screaming. In a nearby yard, George the Jack Russell was probably going about his day minding his business when of course he heard all of this screaming and without hesitation little George the Jack Russell sprang to action. He ran out of the safety of his yard and onto the road, getting between the children and the pit bulls. This worked as a very good distraction, but it only meant that the pit bulls then turned their attention from the children to George. People witnessing the scene claimed that this darling little brave dog tried as best he could to fight off these two dogs, but unfortunately it was a losing battle from the very beginning. And as the two children ran to safety, George was horrifically mauled by the two of these other bigger, stronger dogs. And as a result, he sustained really serious injuries. After the attack, he was rushed to the vet, where the attending veterinarian looked at his injuries and told Mr. Alan Gay that unfortunately there wouldn't really be much that they could do to preserve the integrity of George's quality of life and that the best decision that his father could make would be to euthanize him. Unfortunately, although Mr. Gay really didn't want to euthanize George, he was left with no other option and although it pained him greatly, George was put down later that day. As a result, the two pit bulls that were responsible for the attack were also put down and their owner was smacked with a huge fine for owning two 
very aggressive dogs. And in the days that followed, George was praised by media outlets from New Zealand and Australia for his absolutely huge and heroic act of bravery. The Royal New Zealand Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals awarded George with a Medal of Bravery in 2007. And a beautiful bronze statue of George was unveiled in the street where he gave his life. Also, the People's Dispensary for Sick Animals awarded George the PDSA Gold Medal, which is very similar to the Gallantry Medal for Acts of Bravery. Everywhere people praised George and commended George for what he had done. Such a cute little beautiful, just gorgeous little dog to do something so heroic like that. Ugh, oh, man. It's just so sweet. I mean, he was just such a cute little adorable dog. Like, ugh. Oh. He was a little dog, but he had the heart of a lion, that's for sure. And that day, George became the goodest boy of all good boys that there ever did was. And his sacrifice was definitely remembered. And is of course a testimony to the saying that dogs really are man's best friend. So we just want to say thank you to George, the goodest of all goodest boys, for his sacrifice. And I'm sure he was welcomed at the Rainbow Bridge and joined the ranks of all the other very special, very good dogs. So thank you for sitting through that. <laughs> Oh my god, I should cover Shamu next. <laughs> what should I do next? Should I do Skippy? <laughs> Skippy the kangaroo? <laughs> How about the, the, um, oh man. The ringtail possum? What about the, 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 the koala that used to teach us to slip, slop, slap back in the day? Should I do that as well? <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I'm laughing. I can't get through this. I can't do this. Seriously. <sighs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so very much for coming here today for this beautiful video of Solved Saturdays to commemorate the heroic act that was George the Jack Russell. Thank you very much for sitting through this video. It is very appreciated. You're a legend. <laughs> Should I do Shamu next? Oh god. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. You can go now. <laughs> <laughs>